Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you guys my makeup collections. Just so you know that, these makeup I have been buying for years, probably for about like six, seven years. So I have quite a lot. So if you enjoy today's video, please keep watching. Okay, so this is the overview of my makeup collection. So uh, this is also where I sit down and do my makeup every day as well. So yeah, let's go into this drawer where I don't keep so much stuff in here. I mean, I do, but like the stuff that like I do for uh, stocking, uh, my skincare and my makeup. So this drawer, I have my favorite lashes style from Kiss. Um, Sai Chiffon, I think that's how you say it. And other stuff like my mini skincare for when I want to travel, I can bring them with me and then I can restock if my skincare is out. But yeah, like this is what I recently bought as well. Uh, and I'm excited because I love, love this cream for hydration, especially for my oily, oily skin. And it's also have PS, uh, SPF 30 as well, which is great. Uh, but yeah, not much to show you guys here, to be honest. Uh, just like random stuff I throw in for when I want to travel. And then above here is also the same thing. This is more of like hygiene. And then this is for cleaning your makeup. I love this brand, like L'Oreal. This, well, I mean, everybody knows this brand, but like this micellar water. So good. I literally like bought like four in one time, but I use them up really quick. So I am scared one day they're going to discontinue or something. Um, and then yeah, this is for my scrub uh, exfoliations for my hair and this is just your facial cotton pad for removing your makeup and uh, just, you know, little things that nobody cares. But anyway, I will move on real quick to my makeup drawer over here, which I contains mostly makeup. Um, so in this one, I this first drawer, I have my uh, cream brushes. I have these... Uh, Melt, Ilia, Elf, Tao 28, which is my currently favorite. It's so beautiful. Like, seriously, like I have oily skin and I love it. And um, cream brushes from Fenty, Nustic. And they're just like a container for Nustic that when I want to um, go travel, I can bring them in. This is a tip for me when I want to fix my makeup, uh, Mistex. And uh, this is for my uh, makeup to uh, brush, uh, to like the brushes, like when you want to use a different color but you want to use the same brush, you can just use this one to swirl them around and then it can, uh, you can use the same brush for different colors. And this is for the mixing foundation tray. So what I do is I just put my foundation here in case sometimes I want to mix my foundations together uh, to create my shade or any sorts of like formulations of other foundations uh, conjunctionally. And then I just use them from there and put my face and um, this is just like little uh, press on notes that I probably not going to use and probably going to give for somebody else the second draw where this is my favorite one this is my shadow palette um, I do have some in here as well but I'm going to show you guys later I also have like a face palette from Charlotte Tilbury but yeah I have like uh, Sabrine Bronze Artist Couture and um, it's like a makeup for, for revolutions and then I also have this Tarte palette I just bought as well um, and this is the L palette I should have used this one more probably I have to put it out it's a blush palette this is how it looks like inside it's my favorite I used that one a lot before but because like my collection is grown so I kind of forgot about that but uh, I, I will try to remind myself and use it more and just uh Makeup Artist Couture, Ethereal Broom. This is a really great for spring. Um, I mean, I wouldn't recommend you buying this one, to be honest. Like, the color is is good, but like, I don't know. It's just like, there's something about the palette that makes me not using it so often. But I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll use it more at this time of year. In the other hand, I told you guys that this one is more expensive and can use for the spring actually this app palette might be a better options for you if you want to looking for a spring palette it has all these spring colors 
I'm just gonna open it for you guys. Um, yeah, they have all the spring color, um, all this row over here is beauty, and then you can also use some neutral colors here for your everyday makeup look if you may. Uh, but yeah, like this is a great option for affordable spring palette. I use it up pretty often just because I work uh, in an office where a lot of colorful eyeshadows. But it's great for spring if you're looking for one. And this is the Violet Boss 5 eyeshadow palette. This is um, the All Matte eyeshadow. Um, it, it's alright, I would say so. Like, there's not too much about that because I have so many same color theme. Uh, but yeah, I just love to have one in my uh, collection. And this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette. This is from Dominic Latte Palette. This is all the rows of the colors that I always, always love to wear in any time of the year. And this is the three eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a sultry palette. This is, I'm so glad it's got back in stock for one time and then i got it for discount it was it was a beautiful palette i'm telling you like if this comes back in stock again or they bring it back you definitely gotta grab it it's amazing i use it for new year and the look turns out amazing and then also this novena palette this is kind of dirty because of the texture of the palette you know the velvety uh, packaging but yeah this is the color of that palette really pretty for people who love purple and this is my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palette as well from Jackie Aina uh, collab beautiful color themes and this is my most expensive eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath it's beautiful I should use this one more often but uh, it's very he heavy and then just like an eyeshadow palette from for color it's uh this is the palette I can never get rid of because of the color. It's just like a purpley, you know, dreamy, romantic. This is the MAC palette. I just bought for uh, these magnet uh, single eyeshadows and blushes. Yeah, not very much. And that is my second drawer. To my last drawer over here is where I keep my sponges. This is for uh, the uh, hair clips for me when I do my makeup. So I don't want my hair to be in my face. This is my um, collections of neon eyeliner that I've shown you guys in the video before. It's, uh, yeah, just keep them there. I, I barely use them now. This L flash light for when you're taking photos. This is a dirty cloth for me to use for my makeup brushes and swatches. This is my fan for when I was setting my spray, my setting spray, and then fan them out when it dried. This is a new sunscreen I'm going to use after I'm done with my other sunscreens. Container for my sponge for go when I travel. My hair clips. Yeah, nothing special. This is just where I keep like random stuff like my earrings. Yeah. And um, over here is where I keep like these random stuff which you guys don't have to, you know, like care so much about. Like this is my um, Kleenex and this is my uh, old one size makeup. Go off. Makeup removal wipes. Not a big fan of it, but I bought it on sale. And uh, in this drawer over here, I uh, keep all of my lashes, my mascara. It's not really organized because I use them pretty frequently. I mean, I organize them and then tomorrow it's gonna be a mess anyway. So, uh, yes, yeah, so my tools over here, my eyeliner for my lashes, and uh, other stuff. You know, you can see over here my lash curler, my lash clips. Um, yeah, so I have uh, not a lot. I used to have a lot of mascara, but I throw them away because of the lifespan of mascara. You, you don't want to keep mascara for so long that it's gonna be like irritated your eyes. But yeah, like just like lashes, you know, eye stuff. Alright, so um, this is where I keep my foundations. Fenty, Lost Beauty, my favorite Tetris foundations. Yeah, so like I will have like about like 10, 15 foundations, so I am no buying foundations for now. And also this as well, so all my foundations, my L, Makeup Forever, Essence, and I have one face, so that says a lot. And over here is all my brushes and my setting sprays. I have grown a lot of 
setting spray collection so i'll stop buying them for a while i have no this one as well from Todd Shubri. here i keep my eyeliner colorful eyeliner mostly like i love this color so i buy a lot of these teal colors i bought one from Too Faced then i got also the different color but same line from Too Faced this is in the color killer cashmere that is this color killer turquoise but yeah this is all my colorful eyeliner and here is more like black and dark tone eyeliners and this is the same thing as well but like a different liquid eyeliner black one but yeah and then this is where i keep my um concealers owl concealers my uh color pop wrong shade concealer i like to call yeah, the elf concealer this is too light i mean i like this one better to be honest even with my oily skin but um yeah this is a little bit too matte it's kind of drying your eyes a little like under eye a little bit but i guess like i use them once in a while it's like a dupe for a tart shape tip which is right here i bought a small size because i don't want to buy a lot of full size makeup because i never go through them this is used to be my favorite until i am not this shade anymore this is a naked skin urban from urban decay in the shade i don't know it's in a shade medium light warm so yeah i mean it's pretty dark right now i mean i don't say it's dark but just like a little bit like too warm for my liking just where i keep my small size lipsticks my nars lipstick my poppy brow from Poi Perk from Sephora Makeup Forever from a collection a long time ago I bought. This is where I keep like mostly my Colourpop eyeshadow palettes. This is my um, Jaclyn Hill. I don't use it a lot, but I should. My Michaela Glam Light eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, the little like palettes like here I tend to reach for a lot. This is my sunscreen more eyeshadow palette of course i have the most like i have in my collection i grow a lot of eyeshadow palettes and um foundations as you can see my uh, primer this is some sunscreen i don't really like that so much my hand sanitizer i move moving on over here i have lipsticks mostly um my tower 28 jaclyn hill lipsticks my Colourpop, Morphe, I love this formula from Morphe, long lasting, doesn't dry out your lips. My Milani lipsticks, NYX, Burger Gloss, Oxum lip gloss. These are lip oils I got from my prescription uh, monthly boxes. I stopped having that box because I moved. Um, glosses from Smashbox, gloss from Accents. Pixie, Elstila, and these kind of like stuff that I use, like lipsticks that I use a lot every day. And my favorite Lancome Juicy Tubes. I have another color as well in the full size. Uh, Dragon Beauty. Uh, this is from Dragon Nikki? Nikita? Nikita? I don't know. Anyway, so I have this one from Laneige for me to prep my lips before I do my lipsticks. My items beauty from Addison Ray, NYX, and then my favorite lip plum from where is this brand? Nabla. Yeah, it's really good. I like this one better than the Too Faced injections. And then here's also I keep my um, lipstick as well. This is from Huda Beauty. Becca, Essence, Maybelline, these Fenty lip gloss. This is my favorite right now. The Fenty Hit in the shade Glossy Balm. No, Fenty, Fenty Balm. Is it? Oh, sorry, Fenty Glow. This is favorite one as well. I think this is in a Fenty Glow as well, but in the gloss formula. Uh, fussy in oh actually sweet mouth from the uh limited uh limited collections and then more li jacqueline lipstick i have a lot of lipstick as well i guess beside eyeshadow palettes and foundations but yeah i'm i said the beverly hills lipstick these little lipsticks i used to be a big fan of 
this is my favorite favorite makeup forever liquid lipsticks in the color 103 this is a lime crime lipstick these patrick tar lip cream next lingerie my favorite one sephora collection lipsticks uh artist couture and i forgot to show you guys that i also keep in the same drawer of uh, my lipsticks i keep my pressed powder before i use my loose powder for baking so i got fenty becca cosas and catrix and here is where i keep all of my lip liner i have uh, i have bought a lot in uh, in one time and i realized that it makes a lot of difference to my lips routine and then some of my eyebrow gel from Lustig. This is from Benefits, Essence, L, Anastasia Beverly Hills, NYX, and a freckle from Freckle Beauty, Anastasia as well. But yeah, these are go hand in hand for me to when I grab things. And then here we move on to the blushes, highlight, and bronzer. And here I keep my powder, my airspun, my favorite airspun powder, NYX Can't Stop Non Stop. The Innisfree um, Matte Mineral Setting Powder. In over here, I keep my blushes, like Hot Mama from what is that brand? Oh, the Balm. Yes. Wet and Why. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Burt's Bees. Cartridge. Buxom, my favorite one. More cream plus from uh, Selena Gomez, Red Beauty. My favorite uh, Mark Mac paint to repaint pot, and I have a backup over here. So then I remind myself I have goldfish memory. So anything that I need to put it out means like I need to use up after I use the other one up. But yeah, like my little blush from Ciate London. Now here is my bronzer collections: Elia, Drawn In. Physics and Formula Butter Bronzer, Fenty Bronzer. This is blush. I don't know. I guess because I have no space, I keep it there. It's more of my favorite bronzer from from uh, the Balm. This is a uh, Korean brand to cool for school. Hula bronzer, and this is the primer, uh, the glow from Glow's recipe for me to use before I do my makeup. These cream highlights. Tart breezy, this uh, hula cream bronzer, the bronzer from Bare Mineral, and here is my highlight collections. Um, Mac, my favorites, Fancy Beauty, Wet and Why, and then Heather. This is Essence. This is another blush from Milani. I love blush. Uh, Fancy Beauty. Fenty Beauty. This is an Elf body primer for oily skin. Let's keep here because I don't have any more space for it. The same one as well, but different formula. This is where I keep my glitter eyeshadows. Yeah, so uh, it's for my eye primer, glitter. But yeah, I uh, that is it for my video today. This is all my collections. So that was my makeup collections. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.